Okay guys, so starting off with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. As usual, priming my eyes. I do this all the time, as you see in my videos. It's my favourite thing to use. And I'm using my Models Prefer Shadows tin. I'm sorry, this is my favourite thing ever. And I'm using the really, really cool toned light grey. And I am using that just in my crease on a... A dupe for this brush would be the MAC 217, so if you have that, that'll be the same. But just putting that very lightly in my crease. It's a very light colour, so this is sort of my transition colour. Use it to blend everything out, make sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm just doing the same to both eyes. So I thought I would do my tutorials a bit differently now. Instead of just doing it on one eye, show it on both like I am here. Um, also saves on time for me when I'm filming as well. So, yeah. Let me know if you like this style or this way of me filming because, yeah. Then I'm using the sort of green toned grey. I don't know. And I'm putting that over the top. I am layering up different colours, like starting lighter and then layering darker and darker colours on it because that then creates a lot more depth on my eye. And I think that just helps create the smoky effect. I don't know. And then I just grabbed a bit more of that same colour on a bit bigger blending brush. This is actually the brush that came with this palette. And I'm just blending it out even more. Then I'm using this very dark brown with a grey hint to it. Again with a smaller brush just to kind of pinpoint it in a certain spot that I would like. And then I'm pretty sure I go back over it. I don't know, I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure I'll go back over it with a bigger brush just to blend it out. Make it look a bit more smoky. But yeah, if you don't want it to, to be too smoky then that's up to you. I'm going in with a very very dark brown. This is practically black. And I'm just, you know, again, layering it from my outer corner all through my crease, blending it out, smoking it out, doing the same thing. You don't have to make this as dark. You can make it even darker than I did. It's really up to you what you want. Personal preference. Then I'm mixing these two very light shades. One's more peachy, one's more pink using them as my brow bone highlight colour. Again, these colours are completely matte, no shimmer with them. And I'm putting them in my inner corner, although I do kind of touch them up later in my inner corner because, yeah, it gets wiped away. Then I'm using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo and Silver Strike, placing this on my eyelid. This one's kind of dried out a little bit, but to be honest, I think these are better when they're dried out because my eyelids are so oily. It's better when they're a bit more dry because, um, it just, I don't know, they don't fade as much, but I love this colour so much. And then I'm taking this sort of torpy grey. It's very weird to describe itself when you swatch it. It's not a grey, it's not a purple, it's not a torp. It's just got this very iridescent glow. And in the end, it didn't like it to be applied straight like that, so I ended up wetting my brush with some Fix Plus. As you can see, I switched brushes. And just applied that over the top a little bit more. I applied the silver base just because I did want it to pull a little bit more silver than that bluey purple, but it was up to you. <coughs> Blending it out. And then I'm going in with my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black as Black. And this is my e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush, I think. Yeah. And I'm just doing... Two wings and they don't turn out completely even I'm very sorry but oh well I wasn't a little bit of a rush when I was filming this so yeah but that's not really anything I can use as an excuse but oh well some days they just don't match as well then I'm setting the eyeliner just with some black eyeshadow in another palette that I have I really need to buy a single black eyeshadow If this palette had a black, it would be my all-time favourite palette. Then I'm starting with my face using my Savvy Smoothening Primer. I actually really like this. I have kind of moved away from the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm thingy for a while. So, yeah. Then I'm using my Designer Brands Longwear Foundation. This one is in Nude Beige. I didn't realise, I didn't put a huge amount of tan on the night before, so I wasn't as dark. 
and this foundation is slightly too dark for me in this video it matches me perfectly now but uh, at the time of filming this was slightly too dark like it oxidizes a bit so I am sorry that it does look a lot darker than my like chest and neck and arms at one point so I apologize for that but yeah I didn't realize until like I'd practically finished my face and I used my elf full coverage concealer I actually really like this <laughs> Maybe not really for underneath my eyes all the time, but today under my eyes were not as dry, so I decided to just use that because I hadn't used that concealer in a long time. I used my Australis Banana Powder underneath my eyes. I can't really use this too much when I'm fair because it doesn't brighten that much. And I've got a text message and I'm using my Mode Press Powder. This one's in Deep Natural. I have Ivory as well for when I'm not tan. And this is the Kabuki brush that came with the brush set that my mum gave me and I actually really really like it. It can turn like this powder isn't completely light coverage but it can turn a light coverage powder into a full and just blends everything out really well. I think it was also this powder that's slightly too orange for this foundation but I don't know if you can tell yet but it does look slightly odd. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Then bronzing up my face again with my Aldi Contour Kit, mixing both colours together. Just a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much, I don't know. Another text message. And then I used the pink highlighter in this palette just because I wanted to highlight my face today, but I didn't want it to be too bad. And then I used my Mode Blush in the colour Cupid. It's slightly peachy pink, it's really nice, and it's a matte colour too. So I kind of mixed it in with the highlighter and just mixed it all around and made it like a glowy-ish look, but not too intense. I then filled in my eyebrows using my Chi Chi Brow Pomade and trying to fix up my brush. Never, ever, ever go too long without cleaning your eyeliner or your eyebrow brush. This The brush was filthy when I did it this day and I didn't realise and I hadn't done my makeup for about two days so it had gone completely hard. So girls, always wash your brush that you use your liquid or gel eyebrow products with because it's really disgusting and doesn't work very well at all when it's not particularly clean. I then just got a mixture of all of the lighter grey colours and put that underneath my eyes, uh, smudging it out a little bit just with that pencil brush that I have. And then over the top, I placed a little bit of that darker, like the almost black colour and smoked it out a little bit more. I didn't want to go too intense, but if you wanted to go more intense than me, then that's up to you. And then just applied mascara. This is the Revlon Lash Potion. I do, oh not Lash Potion, the Grow Luscious one, sorry. Um, I do like it. But I don't think it's worth the 20 something dollars, I don't know. Applying it to both eyes. I kept getting text messages in the middle of these parts, so I'm sorry. This is why it's a bit jumpy. But yeah, just add, I just add two layers of it to my upper lashes. And there we go. There's this eye again. And then I, while it's drying, I use my Chi Chi Like a Virgin Gel Eyeliner. It's white. Put that on my waterline. Favorite white eyeliner ever. Go get it. It's amazing. And then I just added some waterproof CoverGirl mascara. This one's in brown black, but doesn't matter. Uh, this is this is what, what what one's this? I can't remember. Lash Blast. Yeah, that's what it is. I then lined my lips with the Essence lip liner. I believe this is the color called Cute Pink. It's the pink one. I believe. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember what it is. But I realized I hadn't actually used this lip liner before. I'd swatched it on my lips, but then like removed it straight away to realize like what to say. <laughs> To see what the color was but I decided to use it today and my lips are very very hard for me to line because I've got barely any upper lip and my bottom jaw is actually uneven my jaw itself is uneven so it makes my lips look uneven and I just could not get it right today so I'm really sorry for that I just put my NYX Angel Food Cake Butter Gloss over the top and that's pretty much it that was this look completed 
I really like the glossy lips. I wanted to do really cool tone lip, but I thought, no, it would be a bit too much because I'm so tan. But there you go. You can really use any lip colour you want with this. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. All my information and social media links will be down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I'm sorry that my eyebrows are so bad and that my eyeliner doesn't match and that my lips are uneven. But yeah. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!